Hey everyone, and welcome back for, hang on, let me check real quick. Okay, so welcome back to week 15 of building Air Kit and Lego. So I just checked in the last update video was back on January 10th of this year. So about five months since the last Air Kit update, and man, do I have a lot of progress to show y'all today. So before we begin, I do want to mention that I made a lot of progress actually during my spring break and since that break was only a week long I was unable to record any clips for an update video so I'm going to address all the changes and all the finalized plans for this mock in this update video and I am taking this mock to Brick Rodeo this year and I'm super excited this year it's going to be in Austin instead of five minutes from where I live so that means I am going to have to take it in a car which I'm not too worried about it's a pretty relatively flat mock i'd say but i'm super happy with a lot of the progress i was able to make for this week's update and i got a lot of bricklink orders a lot of buy my bricks orders and i can't wait to show you guys all the fun stuff and all the cool stuff that i've been doing for this block in preparation for my return so without any further delay let's jump right into this week's update video so to start off this week's episode I made uh, quite a lot of progress during my spring break back in March. I'm not sure if I covered this entire base plate with coral either during my winter break or my spring break, but nonetheless it is complete on this base plate so I'm happy about that. And as you can see I have lights uh, just lying around because I'm trying to add lights to this scout tower which I did over spring break. So what I actually did is I not only had to take apart all the layering of plates and coral on this base plate so I can run the wires that connect from the landing pad to the bottom of this scout tower to get it illuminated as well as have some of the expansion boards there so I can connect more lights to the top which I kind of already started experimenting with. The most notable change I did during my spring break was instead of having that light switch over there or where is it actually over there um, be over here to light the landing pad and said I used that for experimenting with the scout tower and instead I added this USB expansion uh, port and so what you can do is I took this battery pack and or this charging pack and it's hard to do with only one hand but I connect it to the battery pack and not only does it light up the landing pad but also, like I said earlier, I have lights wired underneath the laying pad, underneath the layer of coral, all the way to the bottom base of that scout tower right over there. And I think that looks so cool. I think I'm going to have like these red dots illuminate as well and also on the other side. And obviously I'm trying to get the red strips on the top base of the scout tower with lights as well. I made a giant light my bricks order which actually arrived bef like right before I left college for summer so I will be going over that package later in this episode but I just want to show you guys what I did during my spring break even though I worked on it a lot I was unable to record anything because I was just so busy trying to get as much progress as I can done on this mock and I guess another notable thing I should mention so the last building that I've decided that will go on this base plate is the armory. So I designed it, it's 100% complete on studio. I have mostly all the parts, I'm waiting on a few more Bricklink orders. It was the largest Bricklink uh, orders I've ever made, which is honestly quite surprising. Well, I guess that does make sense. I kind of saved it all for the last few months before Brick Rodeo, but that's besides the point. So. What I'm going with this is I designed it on studio and it looks shrunk, shrunken just a little bit based off the reference material, but even to that extent, it will cover this entire base plate. And that means is this wall that I was planning to have here, I can no longer have, but that is a good thing because then I don't have to spend more time building more walls because there's a lot of pieces that go into one little pyramid structure. So I'm actually quite happy about that and I can't wait for the armory to be complete. And so back to the light my bricks order, that includes lights to not only finish the scout tower over there, but light the 
turret as well as the armory because the armory will have lights in it as well. So overall, I'm very happy with the progress that I've made on this mock during my spring break as well as what I was able to do uh, digitally on Studio. So I'm very happy with that. So now I'm going to open all the BrickLink orders that I still need to open and get that sorted. I'll show you guys the parts that came in those. So I opened up all the BrickLink orders that came and put them in a giant Ziploc bag. And so I'm still waiting on two more BrickLink orders. But other than that, these are most of the parts to finish this mock, especially get that armory on that base plate over there and then finish up the walls that'll go mostly around this entire mock. And so I actually bought some more shoebox bins. I'm trying to sort through a lot of my coral because I really want to sort these pieces because I think building the armory would be so much easier if I sort all these parts into different containers just so it can make it easier and faster as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can do that. Actually, before I go ahead and do that, I do want to show you guys these over here. So actually this bag right here is the giant light my bricks order that I purchased uh, on Star Wars day actually that had a 20% off sale their entire store on May 4th. So I got a lot of lights over here. I'm not sure if I'm going to review it in this episode, but uh, I have all the lights to finish this entire mock. So I'm very happy about that. Also, I do want to mention these giant bags filled with just, I think for the most part, I think there's some one by two plates, but for the most part, it's one by one trans red plates. Cause I mentioned this in like an earlier episode of building air kit, but for these walls, it is so much cheaper to use one by one plates stacked up to brick height instead of using, let me see if you can zoom in, instead of using one by one trans red bricks. I was actually at my friend Jay's house this past weekend as I'm recording this update video and he gave me a lot of his one by one trans red plates because they're not that expensive but to buy them in bulk on BrickLink it's it's um I just didn't really want to pay that price luckily Jay lent me some of these I'm not, I'm not gonna keep these but this should hopefully and I'm pretty sure should hopefully finish up all the walls that'll go pretty much around this entire mock. And as well as some of his stormtroopers with the dual molded helmets. Now, I'm so happy that he was able to lend me some of his stormtroopers as well. What's awesome is that these are the same stormtroopers that he used for his Vardos mock. So just the fact that I'm using his Vardos stormtroopers in my air kit mock just blows my mind. I love that mock so much and I'm very grateful that he's allowing me to use his Imperial Stormtroopers for my air kit mock. I do have some over here. I think I have nine in my collection, but what's great about the ones he's giving me is that they're already equipped with Firestar arms. I'm not sure if you can kind of see that in the bag, as well as some brick arms, uh, Stormtrooper blasters. I forget the technical Stormtrooper blaster term. I'm sure someone can let me know down in the comments below but I'm just very happy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Stormtroopers. There's two different helmet variants, one with just the black squares and the other one with the black and gray squares. Most of my Stormtroopers have the black and gray squares. So I'm just going to swap out the helmets with some that are black squares in here because I know that a lot of these in here have the just the normal black squares, but I'm not too worried about that. I can easily just swap out the helmets but I'm just so happy. Originally, I was only going to borrow at least 10, but he's like, here, just, just take most of them. Or not, these are definitely not all of them, but just here, just take as many as you want. You can just swap out the helmets with the correct ones because these are already equipped with Firestar Toys Arms as well as the Brick Arms Stormtrooper Blasters. And I actually have a few extra here to put on some specialty Stormtroopers that will be in this mock. So all that out of the way, Again, I'm very appreciative of Jay. Jay, for watching this, thank you so much, man. I really do appreciate it. So all that all the way, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can start uh, sorting that huge bag of armory parts as well as some wall parts as well. I'm gonna try and move all this coral either to the shoe boxes or these little bins just so that the armory parts are easily accessible in those two containers over there with dividers. So I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can do with that right now.
So as you can see, I dumped out the plastic bag with all the armory and wall parts and some of it even fell on the floor, which is unfortunate. But as you can see, just this giant pile of just BrickLink orders all meshed together. Again, this is the largest BrickLink order I've ever had to make for a single mock. Granted, this is only, I guess, technically my second large mock. But what I decided to do is because I tried sorting a lot of this coral and I put some of the coral pieces that I didn't have a whole lot of in these small containers. But other than that, I still need to figure out where I'm going to put like the parts that I have a lot of over here in the big dividing sections or the big uh, cup sections over there. So what I decided to do is I'm going to try and go through all these bags and weed out all the parts that I need to build the walls. So I'll separate the pieces that I need for the walls and the armory. So that way I can go ahead and see if I can knock out all of the walls, which Hopefully I can do in this segment. If not, I'll definitely get most of the walls built. So I'm going to go ahead and try if I can do that without making a gigantic mess right now. So I was finally able to weed out all the parts that I need to finish the walls that will go for the most part around this entire mock. But sorry if the time lapse kind of cut out while I wasn't done. It, the battery actually died on me. So I had to go charge it and I didn't have that much... Uh, left to find but here for the most part including these two big bags of trans red plates these are for the most part all the parts I need for the wall if I'm missing a few I'm pretty sure I might have some in my collection probably in these bins somewhere so here are all the parts that I weeded out for the walls and I'm pretty sure this is all of them as I was almost done actually weeding out all these parts I realized that some bags contained some one by one medium blue tiles and this is the only bag here that has some and I realized I needed more than what's in here because each of the little wash structures has a tile on top. So I think there's in some other bag over here mixed in with all the other parts to build the armory but if not then I can just wait to top off the wall structures with those medium blue tiles and I'm pretty sure I might have some in one of my one by one tile bin I think I'm actually focusing on it right over there you can see it right there so and also I did have another one of these containers just filled with a bunch of other parts this bucket over here actually contained the parts to build the second scout tower as well as some other parts that I didn't use for the landing pad and so I was just opening them out and I was just putting them in their respective uh, bins. But while digging through that bucket, I realized there are some parts for more walls as well. So I'm going to include these as I'm going to include these in this pile over here. And I was actually thinking about doing a live stream of me building these walls, but I really want to get a lot more progress done on this mock and I don't have time to set up the live stream. So I'm just going to build as many walls as I can now. I am going to play on a stream. I really need to go to the container store and get more sorting bins and buckets and stuff like that just to sort out all the parts for the armory as well as uh, other parts because I feel like if I sort all this instead of opening each bag at a time to find a certain piece, I feel like if I just put organize them by color or part, it'll make building the armory that will go on that base plate right next to the scout tower or excuse me, the landing pad so much easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably sort these parts out as well into piles and see how many walls I can build.
So I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse. I'm sorry if it was a bit confusing. I know that I was trying to experiment with the camera angle and trying to get a good view of me building these wall structures, as well as trying to experiment with the frame rates of the actual time lapse itself. I'm still experimenting with that. I'm trying to find the best settings for it. But again, I apologize if it was hard to see me uh, build these wall structures. So as you can see, I have 13 of these pyramid structures. Technically, I only built 12. I took one of the structures off the mock just as a template for building as well as six of these wall structures that go in between these pyramids. And I'm overall really happy with the amount of walls I was able to build for this week's update video. And I'm not gonna put these walls on the mock just yet only because I want to, when I'm done building all the wall structures I need for this entire mock, I just wanna catalog how many I built so that way when it's time to take this mock apart, I can put the correct amount of trans red plates that I borrowed from these two big bags over there. So that way I can give them back to Jay. These raw structures are kind of hard to build only because stacking one by one plates is no easy feat. I know my hands or I should say my fingers hurt when I keep stacking a bunch of these. And I think I mentioned this earlier in the video, but if not, each one of these pyramid wall structures contains 21 trans red one by one plates. So I'm still not sure how many of these I need. I know I think this is enough to cover what's left of this base plate around the landing pad, but I need to count how many I need for that base plate over there to surround the armory. And also that middle uh, wall right between the landing pad and the armory is gonna go away. So I'll do that in next week's update video for sure. So this is all the progress I was able to make on air kit for this week's update video. Let's go to the closing. So this is going to conclude week 15 of building air kit and Lego. Definitely let me know down in the comments what you think of this mock so far. I'm overall just super happy with the progress I was able to make on it during my spring break as well as the full week that I've been back. In fact, as I'm recording this clip, it's been a full week since I came back from college. So just the fact that I was able to get this much done is super awesome. And I definitely think we'll have this done right before Brick Rodeo. So speaking of Brick Rodeo, actually, I'm not sure whether I want to make or record the, the finale video either before Brick Rodeo, during Brick Rodeo, or after Brick Rodeo. I'm leaning towards after Brick Rodeo, but I feel like recording it during the convention would be a little bit tricky. So I might either do it before or after. I'm leaning towards after. Definitely let me know down in the comments. Either way, I'm still gonna have, or either way, I'm still gonna make a bunch of videos about Air Kit at Brick Rodeo, as well as other Brick Rodeo vlogs as well, as I did last year. So for next week's update video, my goal is to sort all the parts for the armory into little containers because I think building the armory would be so much easier if all the parts were sorted so that way I don't have to go through each individual back to find a certain piece. So that's my goal for next week as well as continuing to build more of the walls. I really wanted to build more walls in this update video but I really wanted to get this video out for you guys just because there's been a long gap between week 14 and this update video of Air Kit, and I know you guys have been waiting for Air Kit's return. So with all that out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm happy to see that so many people have been looking forward to Air Kit's return and have been patiently waiting for this update video. So I do want to give a special thanks to you guys who are watching this video. So if you like what I do, go ahead and subscribe and click the bell icon so you won't miss out on any future videos, including more Air Kit updates to come, and especially all the videos I have planned for this summer. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video.